Hello, hello. How's everybody doing today here? Well, um, last week I got a firmware upgrade to uh, four point, or excuse me, five point six. And uh, so today we are going to go over what some of the improvements and changes are. doesn't work. Usually the car disappears and there's a big picture pops up. Hmm. Oh well. Anyways, let's uh, go show some release notes here. With release, Model S owners will be able to use Wi-Fi to enable internet connectivity and maps will feature new heading up orientation. In addition, there are new features and performance enhancements for saving energy, driving experience, and vehicle maintenance. So we have Wi-Fi tethering, a new tow mode, screen cleaning mode, display energy saving mode, owner's manual, and enhancements. We have maps, display brightness, radio station presets, range display, addition to driving profiles, and creep setting. So let's see what we got here. Well, um, Wi-Fi tethering is just that. Uh, we can now... What, Jean? Sleepy time. Sleepy time? Okay, put your head down. Well, um, you can pretty much connect to a Wi-Fi network instead of using the car's 3G. Um, and I will tell you that this thing will not stop nagging me to connect it to a Wi-Fi network. I don't want to connect it to a Wi-Fi network. Until I'm starting to get charged for 3G, I want to use 3G. It's more convenient. But uh, apparently not so. Um, every morning when I hop in the car, there's a new message out there asking me to uh, connect to a Wi-Fi network. Pretty much self-explanatory. To do that, where, where the uh, 3G signal bar is, press and release. Searching for Wi-Fi. We've got Wi-Fi settings. Uh, add a Wi-Fi network. Now you can type one in um, manually. You can also select the uh, security. Oh, there we go. Wi-Fi is turned off. Oh, but it will restart next time you drive. Then what's the point of turning it off? Oh, at least it tells you your MAC address, too. Why am I showing you guys all that? Not that it really matters. Um, a new, nice new feature is tow mode. If your Model S needs to be towed, you can engage tow mode. This setting will keep the parking brake disengaged and the car in neutral. The car must be in park with the brake pedal pressed before tow mode can be engaged. To engage tow mode, select controls, e-brake, power off. So, controls, e-brake, power off. Now, depending on what version of the car, the screen, your screens might be set up a little different. Car is in park, press for neutral. So if I put my foot on the brake and press that, car will go into neutral. Um, of course, um, then you also have the tow mode button and the vehicle power off in case of emergency. Screen cleaning mode. Thank God. So all the little fingerprints I get with these kids in this car. Select display. Enter screen cleaning mode. Now you can wipe your display. I actually have uh, protective plastic on here yet. Because my kids, specifically my little Vinny, likes hitting daddy's screen with things. So I'd rather him scratch the protective plastic. It's kind of like the ones you put on your iPod or iPhone uh, 
uh, screens. So press and hold to exit. Counts down. Three, two, one. There we go. Uh, very convenient. Nah. Display energy saving mode. Oh, come on with this phone. Hello? Yeah, can I call you back in a few minutes? Yeah. Oh, okay. My mom, I don't know how she always knows I'm filming a video, but every time she calls. Uh, display energy saving mode. Model S now consumes considerably less energy when not in use. However, this energy saving mode can also slow the startup time of the instrument panel, Bluetooth data connection, and mobile app. You can turn this energy saving mode off by going to controls, display, and energy saving. Now, I have that turned off. Um, actually, in actuality, with it on, um, I, I, most people are reporting that it's working properly. I, however, uh, seem to have gotten the short end of the stick with that one, as uh, with the energy saving mode uh, turned on, for some reason, in about six to eight hours, I'm losing 16 to 20 miles of range. With off, I'm losing only the uh, about 10 that I used to have on the previous 4.5 firmware. Um, I put a call in to Tesla. Um, they are looking into things, and they are going to get back to me. Um, so hopefully that can get resolved, because I'm burning more energy now than I ever was. Um, Although it has been getting colder out, but uh, I had the same cold days before uh, the service center upgraded my firmware for me. And um, it's at the point where I might request to have my firmware downgraded back to 4.5. Um, it worked. No problems. But, uh, like I said, so far it seems to be just me and maybe a handful of other people. Otherwise, in general... Um, seems most it's working fine now we have uh, the owner's manual is built right into the car now um, let's see if I can remember how to do that owner's manual is now accessible from the touchscreen go to controls settings and tap the manual button controls settings manual button get your owner's manual warranty warranty coverage every all that's spelled out uh, and information on your mobile connectors. Not bad, hey? Genius. Thank you. Enhancements. The map. New maps orientation. Heading up. You now have the option to orientate the map in the direction you travel. Or you can switch between the heading up mode where the map is oriented in the direction of travel and the north up mode tapping the center of the map's control bar and I just butchered that sentence didn't I so uh, I'm gonna have to close this and that let's go to maps there we go Oh, come on. There I am. Hit it again. Now it's oriented in the direction that I am facing. I like north. Oh, and there's also, yeah, a little, little compassy thing. One touch navigation. I can't demonstrate that as I don't have the nav package with my car. And my car doesn't give, oh yeah, it does give phone numbers, but won't let me navigate. Uh, so yeah, it's got some sort of one touch navigation. Uh, you'll just have to read that yourself. Here is the text. I'm not even going to bother because I can't demonstrate it without the nav. Uh, display brightness. Uh, with this release, the display brightness. Auto mode has been tuned to improve behavior at dusk. So after switching to night mode, the brightness setting will gradually decrease from day mode to brightness value down to a relatively dim nighttime setting. And you can alter that. Radio station presets. 
Uh, if you have two or more AM, FM, XM radio station presets, you'll be able to cycle through these selections via the left, right, preview, next set of steering wheel buttons. Those. Additional driver profiles. Uh, front seat heater settings are now included in driver profiles. Huh. Apparently it means if I hit uh, that and select my profile, um, if I have the saved where it turns the seat heater on, it'll come on automatically. I'll take manual, but uh, I guess for those of you in the uh, in the uh, uh, upper regions of North America, in other words, Canada, um, that might be uh, convenient. Uh, here's what I want to see here. Creep setting. Trying to figure out what the heck the difference is. Creep setting. Creep performance has been tuned, so creep, uh, so creep torque is smoother at low speeds. Um, less than five miles an hour. I have not noticed any difference. And that is it for the changes. Um, did I miss range display? Oh, I did miss range display. Uh, how did I miss that? I went right past it. I thought I was missing one. With this release, we are continuing to tune the way in which we calculate range and how we determine when to stop charging for a selected percentage to make it more accurate. As such, you may see slightly different range numbers after the software update. Yes, would you like to sell something to all your viewers? All right, you're just being silly. Say bye-bye. Yes, we got to pick up Vinny from school. He's not out yet. We got about 10 more minutes. Yeah, we'll go out. We'll go to the playground. Daddy's almost done with his video. <laughs> so anyways, uh, note the actual range from your battery should remain the same. These changes are solely to improve accuracy of calculations used to predict range. Um, I have not really... Sus. I have not really seen any difference on how it calculates range. Um, my actual finished charging ranges are pretty much the same as they were on 4.5. You know, of course, um, you know, barring temperature, uh, since cold temperature is taking a nasty toll on overall range. Come on. Let's see, did I miss any of those? Wi-Fi tethering check. Auto mode check, screen cleaning mode check, display energy saving mode check, owner's manual check, maps check, display brightness check, radio station presets check, range display check, addition to driver profiles check, and creep setting check. Check, check, check. Oh, wait, maybe it was the 60 I gotta touch. Let's see what happens. Yep, there we go. Yay! The Tesla team, at least part of the Tesla team, the original Tesla team. Uh, let's see, is Elon in there anywhere? Huh. If he is, I don't see him. And there we go. Um, I guess that's it. Um, I am out of requests. My request list is getting diminished. Please send me your requests. I am in dire need. Oh, I got a good one, the battery heater. That's what I'll make next. Um, it's going to be a little warm this weekend, so I'm going to have to wait till we drop down to about 28 degrees out, roughly. Just, or just a hair under freezing. And I will show different methods of, um, and actually how to improve your range when the car limits your regen um, on the cold pack. When it's super cold out, at first, range mode for your HVAC or heating, ventilation, air, air conditioning, whatever, blah, 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 actually can hurt 
your range rather than help. So I'll cover that all in a, a cold weather video. Oh, and uh, believe it or not, uh, Tesla has even put together a way to heat your door handles in case you get freezing rain like I did last week and your door handles would not extend. In this case, make sure you have either the uh, Visual Tesla app for your computer found at uh, teslamotorsclub.com in the Model S uh, users uh, user interface section. You can read up about it there. That you can access from your computer or have your smartphone with the Tesla application. And trying to think. Anything else? Did I miss anything, Gino? That's it? Alright. Um, uh, that's it for this video. Um, see you guys in the next one. And please send me your requests. I'm running out of ideas. I'm only at, what, 59 or 60 videos? Come on, we got to make it at least to even 100 on this car.